I don't want to do it anymore, Daniel. I don't want to do it. I don't want to wait a week to watch Halo anymore. Is it the waiting that's killing you or the forcing you to watch it? Look, no one's forcing me to do anything but myself, (laughs) okay? I could have told you, no, I don't want to watch this show. But I'm so morbidly curious about how they're going to fuck over one of my favorite IPs. I reckon they already have. Like, I'm just so bored watching this show. Yes, but they keep doing it. They they subverted my expectations. That's good. I thought episode three was going to be good. Uh Uh-oh. But it wasn't good. That's bad. End of last episode, a full fucking week ago, Mm -hmm. Chief is like, all right, they're on reach. We're going to go. And then they fly off. And in my brain, I thought they were going to a different planet. Yeah. It turns out they're just going to, like, another little town called Visegrad, which sounds like it's from The Witcher, but it's from Halo. And they get there. And it's a mysterious dark things. The costuming looks really good. This is yeah. probably the first time that I've looked at really the suits good. and been like, damn, these suits look really nice. I think it's because it's low lighting, a bright couple of spots. And they're not doing anything. Like, they're standing still mm. for a bit but of they, it. Like, they got their guns out at least. Because, like, in season one, there was a lot of desert planets. So it, it was just, like, harsh lighting mm-hmm. from above on, like, all these suits. And they looked like cosplays. Whereas in this shot, I was like, damn, these suits actually nice, look really good. Moody lighting. They look like they can kick the shit out of people. And then there's nice mood. We're going through the building. It's like, oh, what are mm. they going to have to kill? I'm like, they can't be doing flood or anything yet. But like, this is such a mysterious thing. Yeah. They're like, oh, maybe they'll be At a least hunter. have it like full of like, you know, elites, invisible a elites single or something. Jackal. <laughs> something like that. One grunt sleeping. And then we get a jump scare and it turns out it's, it's a bunch of army cops being like, freeze, Master Chief. And Master Chief is like three times taller than five times as wide. And he's just like, I'm going to go through you. And, and also he, they're impenetrable to bullets because yes, they have they've overshields. they've shown us that. But the, the, the sheer confidence mm-hmm. of these army cops, they're just like, hey, <laughs> no, stop it. And then it's just over. They're like, oh, Cobalt team's not here, I promise. Mm-hmm. So then everyone just thinks Chief is crazy again for the first they're few minutes. They're fucking gaslighting the Master Chief into being like, that never happened. That never happened. I think it's 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 worse too because like, they're not gaslighting us. Like, we're not, for even a second, thinking that, yeah. oh, maybe Chief is wrong. That's the thing. It's, it's like, they, know he's right. they want us to get frustrated with Chief because he's, like, losing the plot, whatever. But they want us to also be at home be like, why aren't they listening to him? Why is the army man bad? They want us to think that maybe Chief is losing the plot. They can't brainwash us. We get to see all of it. Yeah, and then, but they also show us them talking about the fact it's real and that mm-hmm. they're gaslighting him. So it's like, we know it's happening. And then Akazin, the new boss, comes clean about the fact that he knows they're on reach, but not mm-hmm. to Master Chief. He comes clean to Keys. And then he's like, oh, yeah, war's lost. Like, we're just going to fuck off and leave mm. Reach. We don't know where he's going to go. Yeah. I, did, I thought that was the main planet. I didn't know they could just leave. I thought leaving would be bad. I mean, I guess they leave. They all just, like, go on the Pillar of Autumn. Like... I don't know what that is. I live in space forever. Battlestar Galactica, baby. So they're just leaving. And it's completely pointless. And this episode does nothing. There's nothing... What this episode is doing, I touched on it last week, is everyone's turning against Chief. Every single yep. person in his life, his squad, his superiors, the people who aren't no longer in the big military machine who he thought he could trust, like everybody is against Including him. Including Kai, like that was obsessed with him last mm-hmm. season. She's just decided to fall off completely. Yeah. And I just don't get why. Like, but I think like they're going for her. She cares so much. That she's worried. She's worried. It's like, over- but that doesn't lead anywhere, which is annoying. Like, mm. wait, I'll jump forward. Like, it's basically John running around being like, oh, the Covenant are coming. Why mm-hmm. won't anybody listen to me? While Ackerson is walking around going, well, the Covenant are here. Nothing we can do about that. But he's like, secret squirrel. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Otherwise, there'll be panic. At the end of the episode, the Covenant attack. Like, mm-hmm. a, a church explodes that Chief is in. So then it's like, basically, they wasted 50 minutes of my time. Yeah. Like, l- literally nothing happens this episode. Like, there's a, there's a difference between a, a setup episode. Yeah, come before the storm. Yeah, and an episode where nothing happens, <laughs> and then it just leads into an episode where something happens. Th- these things are not the same. Which makes me uncertain of next episode. Like, it feels like if you end this episode with a big explosion and an attacking force, mm-hmm. it better be like a full-on scale war. But I doubt it. I don't. Well, I wonder think if it's just the Covenant attack. fleet. I wonder if it's um, just like the guerrilla kind of splinter cell forces that are like you know they planted explosives everywhere and now they're just going to like go around killing people. I why think not? it has to be because if it's too many people, if it's too big of a deal, then the season will be over too quickly. But we spend half the episode doing this, which is dealing with Axon's dad in a way to like humanize him. 
they just give him that slight mm-hmm. backstory of oh his little sister was going to be a spartan but mm-hmm. died in the program so i get it why he hates halsey and why maybe he despises other Spartans because, like, they lived and his sister didn't. Yeah. But why get to where he is? Like, what's his end game? If his end game is to just... He's not dismantling the program. Yeah. He didn't mean to send Cobalt Team to die. He sent them to deal with something secretly. And then they lost. So, like, he just has no goal. Halsey's stuck in prison. Chief is running around saying, why would anyone listen to me? And then there's Riz that's just having a relaxing holiday. She's like, I should retire. Yeah, she's thinking of retirement. And then Kai is barely in the episode, considering she's supposed to care. She's basically like, why are you being mean to Chief? Mm -hmm. And then Axon's like, he's crazy. And she's like, no. But then she's like, let me lead the team. Yeah. Uh, Cortana's not in it. That's literally all it is. It's it's nothing. And at the end of the episode, Axon just leaves. Oh, well, you forgot the the main part of the episode. Quan. Oh, I forgot Quan was in it. Quan, the space queen, the pirate space queen. Sorry. Quan is the second subversion of expectations Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because at the beginning of the episode we think they're about to escape because last episode they alluded to the fact that the mum and son are going to get kidnapped and put up to ransom along with soren for some reason considering they're not important to anyone yeah if they were they would have been taken at the same time but they're just getting taken because the pirates are meanies i guess but only when they have to be like they're like we're trying to be nice (laughs) he was and then he was like yelling at everyone suddenly then kwan saves the day and has a little monologue about how she's failed her people. And mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, you I mean, did. You're pointless now. The people. The show. What's the difference? Yeah. So it's- no one likes this character. No one- Surely no one likes this character. No one in the show is doing anything. And mm-hmm. it's insanity. Again, give them guns, make them shoot aliens, and people will probably be happy with it. Could you imagine if they didn't do a double first episode like oh, release? God, so and this was the third, the third week. And it was just like this. Turns out, when no one does anything, no one's affected. Mm. And everyone's just kind of like, but what did hanging out. Vanek, or Varric, whatever his name is, get out of that, his little bag. What's in the little bag? <laughs> oh, yeah. A Spartan with a bag of cocaine or something at the end. And, <laughs> and he just looks at the board. He's the coolest character. He was, you but know? now he's, oh, I guess now he's just complaining because he took out his ship. Yeah. That's all they do when they've taken out their ship. They're just whingy now mm. and like hate each other. And like, if it was season one, Chief has emotions and he's like, I'm going with my gut, you know? And it's like, I don't know if that's something the Spartans could do before, if they could get a gut feeling. Yeah. I guess they had combat sense, but Chief is like on a hunch and the hunch is controlling him, which I guess like the pallet would have like probably eliminated. He would have been more like analytical. Yes. If the rest of the team still had their pallets, Chief could have been like, look, I have this gut feeling. And they're like, we don't kind of go off hunches. And he's like, no, just trust me. I have this feeling. And they would have been like, okay. And they would have, because remember season one, episode one, they were ready to fire on the entire of like the reach military force to just to protect help their chief chief but now it's like no chief you're silly and you're losing <laughs> your mind and like even riz is like you're you lied to us and, and then just it, like runs yeah. off everyone's just whingy and pointless and i don't understand why you're doing this why are you doing mm. this halo well not halo why are you doing this paramount plus mm. i blame you entirely if people haven't already stopped watching by now i don't think next episode will be enough to bring them back because mm. like they're gonna have to do something pretty big next week but they still have four episodes to go after next week. So we yeah. still have five episodes left minimum. This is our mid-season finale mm. next next, and, next week. So. And you can only assume that if they do Glass Reach, which I'm still doubting they will, they're not going to do it until episode eight, which mm. means we have five episodes. We If, if it's five episodes of a, the Siege of Reach yeah. and it's Master Chief, like tooth and nail ripping and tearing, that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah. But I don't see a universe where you they know do that. What, you know what this means? It means that we're getting a high episode. Like, people are going to be like, just when I was out, it brings <laughs> me back in. That's the next episode. You reckon that's but four? Then, but then the next three episodes after that we get are going to be bloat. dog shit. Yeah. And then the season finale is going to be uh, not going to Halo, you know? We're so. going to get an episode seven from season one. We're going to get Quan mm. on another spirit journey. Can't wait. True. We have to wrap up her. Um, <laughs> well, I'm they, just... they did wrap up her. Then they brought her back and glassed her goddamn planet. <laughs> the one thing I liked about this episode is Chief... I know, right? Chief backhands a regular oh, Marine yeah. and he like, just f- flies into a wall in, a, in an <laughs> elevator. And I was like, thank God. God. Yeah, he gets a Captain America <laughs> elevator like, fight. Hail Hydra. <laughs> but it, it's much more one-sided and just dominates He them. just hits these two guys and they're just dead. These guys are dead. It's a nothing, <sighs> nothing episode. Oh, no. Oh, God. I had a beautiful dream. 
The Halo show never existed. <laughs> Halo fans, do you like the show? Regular TV show fans, do you like the show? I don't think there's any. I don't think any normal people are watching this show. I 100% believe, unless you've played the games, you are not watching this show. Well, the thing is, you have to have Paramount Plus to watch this show. And no one, and has, no one Paramount has Paramount Plus. Plus so, um, Including me. Mm. Na, 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 na. Subscribe. Not to Paramount Plus, though.